Okay, so I'm going to go through the second one that we have to prove or show whoops, from the UVAST equations. And this is this one. So s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared. And you should all remember what this is. So s is displacement. U is the initial velocity multiplied by the time plus a half the acceleration multiplied by the time squared. Now this one takes a little bit of thought. Okay, so what we're going to start is we want to start with our average velocity. So our average velocity is the same way we get any averages. So we usually start at our start value, our final value, and then we divide it by 2 and we find our midpoint. And that's our average value. Okay, so we're going to do the same with this. So for velocity, our initial velocity is just u. And then we just add it to our final one, which is v, and we divide it by 2. Okay, so that's our average velocity. Now, we don't really use the symbol in the course so far, but... I'm going to put this here as v bar, so you might have seen that in your maths course. So this is just the average velocity, so we can distinguish it with final velocity. These aren't the same thing. This is your average. Okay, now we need to know something else as well. We want to know about displacement. Okay, so if you remember from your junior cert stuff, you would have had this triangle, and I think it had, well, which one was distance, wasn't it? It was speed by time. But we don't really use these. We don't we don't use distance. We use displacement instead, so it's an S and we don't use speed, we use velocity. So we'll get rid of that. And our real one that we want to use is going to be our displacement, which is S over our velocity multiplied by time. Okay? And this is what we want. So we want this S. So we know I should have put a little bar in there, because that's your average velocity. So we're just going to use this triangle, and it's going to be S is just equal to URT, so our average velocity multiplied by our time. Okay, so this is the stuff that you should remember. Now, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in this V bar, this average velocity. We're going to substitute this in. So we have S is equal to U plus V over 2 multiplied by T. Okay, so the T just goes straight down and this is translated into this. Now, there's one more thing we need to remember. So Remember from our first derivation and the other one of our UVAS, we have an equation for V. Because you can notice there's no V up here, is there? We don't have any V, and we've got a V down here. So we definitely want to get rid of that. And if we remember, we have V is equal to U plus AT. And so that's what we're going to want to put into this V. So let's just stick that in, okay? So we have now S is equal to, I we'll still have our bracket, U. Now instead of V, we're going to put this in. So it's plus U plus A T. Okay, and that's all over 2. And then this T is still here because we haven't done anything with that yet. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's tidy this up a little bit. Okay, so we've got two u's here. We can add them together, can't we? So we'll just do s is equal to 2u plus at all over 2. And there's another t. Okay, so all I've done is I've added those together. And now you can see it's sort of coming together. Need another sheet. Okay, so we'll just move this up a little bit. Okay, so now we just have to get rid of these brackets. Okay, so we're going to do S is equal to, and we're going to get rid of this bracket, so we're going to have to multiply our T in, so we'll multiply it up to the top here. So you're going to have 2U T, because the T goes into that, plus A, and that's going to be T multiplied by T, so it'll just be A T squared. And that's still all over 2, because we haven't got rid of that 2 yet. Well, you can already see where we're going with this. So, our next step um, is to get this into the fraction. Okay, so we're just going to split these two up. So, S is equal to 2UT over 2 plus AT squared over 2. Okay, so all I've done is I've just split that up. We know we can do that. We could add them both together. That's the common denominator between the two. But now, we have 
have it a little bit better. So we can just cancel those twos. And we're then left with our answer. So that's just cancel, it's just left with ut plus at squared over 2. So this is the same, this is the same as having a half multiplied by this. So you just might not be used to seeing it that way, so we can just make it back to the way you do. Plus, and I'm just going to pull that 1 over 2 out, and at squared. These are exactly the same thing. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. So these are exactly the same thing, it's just a different way of writing it. Okay, I hope that helps.